All right, so now we have a functional map, and now I would like to actually create an app from it. So uh, one thing that's maybe a bit confusing in Arc Online is the difference between an app, a map and an app. So with a map, you're basically just making a, a web app, but it's not a standalone functional web page. So well, if you want to turn it into a standalone functional web page, then you need to make an app from it. And there's a couple of different ways to do that. So we're going to start off with using some of the configurable apps um, available through, um, through, through uh, Esri. So first off, I'm going to save this, make sure it's up to date. Um, you can, if you go to share, you can create a um, app there. Another option is to go back to the content and do it. So I'm going to go back to my content. This is in my Monforest folder. And then I'm going to uh, click on the map object. And then under share, or sorry, well, this is just a share option, so it should set to public. You know, if we go to create web app, then we can create a web app. So we have dashboards, web using uh, apps using web app builder, and configurable apps. So I'm going to demonstrate each of these, and we're going to start with the configurable apps. All right, so loading that, it loads a bunch of configurable templates to build our, our app or web page out of. Um, what, just to start, we're going to use this basic viewer. So I'm going to select that and do Create Web App. And then it's going to ask us to fill out some information about the web app. So I'm going to call this Mon Forest Map Basic Viewer. And then you can add some additional tags. You can add a summary if you want. I'm going to call this uh, example basic map viewer. And then again, it's going to save to this mod forest folder. So I'm going to click done. And then that'll launch a new window where we can um, start to configure the app. All right, so uh, it automatically brought in our map. Again, we started from that map, so it's already linked to it. Note if you wanted, you could link it to a different map. Um, here we're getting a warning saying that this terrain data might require you to have an ArcGIS Online subscription. If we click it on, then it's going to check for that. So I'm just going to leave it off. That way, we just won't use it in the application. Okay, so that looks fine. Um, we can change the title. So I'm going to change it to... Um, wild, wild life sighting um, app, and then you can provide a subtitle if you want. I don't think that's really necessary. You could create a splash screen. I don't think we really need that. All right, so I think that's fine. So now let's go to theme. Here you can change the colors and whatnot. So um, here I'm, I'm just going to change the color to like a green. If we do save down here, it'll it'll update the map. So that's looks good. Um, again, we could go in here and change more colors. We could add like a logo, whatnot, add a link. We don't really need to do that. Um, there's some options for layouts. We have the default sidebar, menu bar, default with rounded corners. I'm just going to leave it to the default. You can also upload custom CSS for you know styling purposes. Under options, I do want to turn on a couple things. So I like to ha have a legend and a measuring tool, and I need to turn on display editor because we want the user. Um, I'll just do that too. Um, because we want the user to be able to edit our hosted feature layer. It's also, and they're also going to be able to print map output. And then under search, um, this is, yeah, we don't think we really need to change anything there. So I'm going to do a save. And then let's do a launch. So this will actually launch it in a, a browser. Okay, so here is our map. Let's make sure, or our, our app, sorry. Uh, let's make sure everything's working. So I'm going to go and look at check things out. So here's our um, our legend. It looks like it took our our names and edits. So that looks good. Um, here's our layer list where we can turn things on and off. So for example, I'm just going to turn on the ranger districts. Looks like they're good. You change the base map. Let's change it there to open street map. Uh, some measuring uh, the measuring tools. Uh, print options 
so let's check out our editing and make sure that's working. And then if, if it is, it looks like we have a functional page. So this little uh, drawing tool, that's that. So now we want to actually edit. So I'm going to go in here and add in, uh, we'll say we have a, a bear sighting here. And then again, we can select a date, time, and then a comment. So I'm going to say uh, black bear with cubs. And then again, you could attach a picture if you had one. OK, and then if we, again, just click off of this, it should store that point. So now we've added a data point to our map, or, or sorry, to our hosted feature layer. OK, so it looks like this is working well. So we have a functional web page. It's shared with everybody. So you could give someone this link, and they could go to this map and add in data points. Um, and so it seems like everything's working well. So um, that's, that's a quick, simple, basic viewer app. In the next section, we'll make a different type of app from a template.